Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and in this video I want to tell you two things that I would expect Reason's new sampler mimic to have in order for it to pass the test of being a useful modern sampler and a great addition to Reason 12. Before we go farther though, I do want to let you know that I've got a free cheat sheet that describes all of the instruments and effects and everything that's included in Reason. It will be updated once Reason 12 is released, but um, right now it's down below. It'll be the same link, so download that to get a quick overview of all of the main devices in Reason so you can quickly figure out what you should be grabbing. Now, going back to this sampler. Um, Reason 12 has been announced. The name of the sampler has been announced the Mimic Creative Sampler, but we have not yet seen any demos of it uh, at the time at least that I'm making this video. So um, what I want to go over is two things that I really think this sampler needs to include, and then also two suggestions for how it could just be next level. We are probably too close to press time for, or for the final release of Reason 12 to come out for any of this to have an impact, but I'm just putting it out there to the universe that I think these are things that Reason desperately needs in its new sampler. First, the ability to easily drop in samples like you can do in a lot of different devices within Reason, and then to set the transient points automatically within the sampler. Every other major tool that I've worked with that's come out in the past few years for sampling includes this function. For example, uh, Serato Sample, the new Logic Quick Sampler, the uh, well, machine has had it for years. Basically, the ability to adjust the uh, sample points, the loop points, uh, the chop points of a sample on the fly. You load in a sample, one, two, three, four. Oh, you know what? I don't want it there. I want it to trigger here instead. That is what is desperately needed in reason in a stock device. Now, I often say that you know, Reason Studio shouldn't be spending as much time making devices that you could buy somewhere else. They should create their own devices. They should focus on improving the DAW, all of that. But they've decided to make a sampler, which is fine. Uh, I'm saying this is a basic functionality of any sampler that should exist in 2021. Um, and then the second thing that it really should have, and I would really like to see this also come to the Reason DAW when it comes to exporting and to bouncing out Rex loops, is the ability to adjust the sensitivity and the algorithms which it uses to detect those splice points for chopping samples. So, for example, again, just to go back to like Machine or the Logic Quick Sampler, you can have it basically, you know, either do it on the grid so it'll just create sample points every quarter note, every eighth note, every sixteenth note, or you can have it do it in a way where it automatically detects the transients and you can adjust the sensitivity of what it's detecting. In fact, I seem to recall that even in Recycle, uh, which Reason Studios or Propeller Head Software released probably 15 years ago at this point, I'm pretty sure you could adjust the sensitivity of the sample points. So I would really like to see that the Mimic Creative Sampler includes these two features, whatever other cool creative stuff it can do. If you're making a sampler in 2021, it should be able to cover these core, core sampler duties, which are not covered by any other stock device in Reason. Let me know what else you think is an essential function for a sampler down in the comments below. Um, because, you know, there's all sorts of fun other creative stuff you can do with a sampler, which is what I'm going to get to um, in a second with baseless speculation about what uh, the Mimic Creative Sampler might be. But I, I really want to stress that I'm going to be very upset uh, if these features are not included with the core features of the sampler. So the next thing that I want to talk about is two creative things that I think would make the Mimic Creative Sampler really cool. Right? We've... Already, its name has been announced. It is the Mimic Creative Sampler. So what does that mean? What could that mean? Well, one thing that it could mean, which would be pretty cool, is that it has the ability to mimic the profiles of certain like analog vintage samplers of yore in the same way that Machine does, uh, like the SP-1200, all of that, all the downsampling characteristics and low bandwidths and things like that. 
maybe that's what mimic means um it would be pretty cool i i think there's a lot to be said for that at the same time yeah you can create a bunch of like little patches and workarounds um my guess though is that that is not the direction that reason studios is going because i would not consider them they've got i mean they make great synths they make great effects but Analog modeling, vintage modeling is not one of their strengths. So I wouldn't expect that to be the direction that Mimic is going. Instead, I would expect it to be the type of sampler that lets you do all sorts of um, cool things on the fly. In the same way, maybe if you've used Loop Cloud 6 recently um, or something like um, basically a step-based processor where you know, each slice could have a different set of processing to it uh, triggered separately. I would expect it to take advantage of CV voltage in some way to do something cool, like modulate parameters that would be built into the sampler itself. So, you know, in most modern Reason instruments, there is now like a five of five or six onboard effects that you can turn on and off, reorder and stuff like that. And I would expect that section to be really open to like manipulation by cv um on top of that i think we've seen a lot of the perhaps suggestions of what could go in from what we see on the oomph drums that are included with reason 11 suite and reason plus there's lo-fi built into those there's bit crushing i believe there's tape delay all sorts of features like that i would expect to play heavily into the Mimic Creative Sampler. I would also maybe think that there would be some cool um, stutter type effects built in. Uh, so you can really create and flip samples on your own in unique ways. So that's it for me. That's what I'm hoping to see from the Mimic Creative Sampler. We'll know more shortly, but why not just get this out there today in the hopes that Maybe there's something that we can do to get a modern sampler in Reason that isn't just a hard write into a creative sampler. Like, Grain is a super cool sample manipulation tool. I love it. I use it all the time. And it is a creative sampler, but it is not a usable sampler in the same way that, like, Serato Sample is if you're really interested in cutting up and flipping a sample, chopping it up and making it remixing it in your own way. Um, and so I would really like to see a sampler like that. And, you know, NNXT certainly has its uses. Uh, if you're just doing, you know, triggering single samples or pitching them up a little bit here and there, but because it cannot uh, manipulate pitch and um, speed independently, it's just not useful for this type, sort of application. Uh, grain can do that, but it applies a bit of a processing to it, which may not be necessary. So hopefully this not only allows chopping things up, but also pitching independently of speed. Let me know what you think. Be sure to download that cheat sheet. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe for more great reason news. Thanks for watching. Bye.